Hello and welcome to another tutorial on shader graph. Uh, in this tutorial I'm gonna make a shader which act as a waterfalling thing. Um, note that the same shader is used and material is used on or actually it's different material same same shader is used on this and on this as well. Uh, so you can create any shape of water you want and then you just apply the shader and you will have this. Um, to break it down we have multiple things. One is the texture is going down. The second is you can see this uh, distortion of the mesh happening. Um, another one is this cutout. Uh, and some finer details which is like you can see here it, it's uh, the the water is becoming white uh, after after it's starting to disappear uh, what else uh, all the other things are here you can see you can increase the um, the noise scale you can decrease it so you can have bigger chunks um, you can have uh, this is the, the tiling for the uh, for the texture um, when does the cutout start how much alpha and uh, cutout speed uh, what's the speed of the, the cutout you can even make it in reverse, uh, the texture speed, what's the speed of the texture falling, uh, how much distortion, you can see now it's it's uh, getting distorted more and more, uh, the distortion speed, it's, it's having these waves faster, uh, distortion size is the the, the size of each kind of wave and this is the tiling on the x-axis only because for this one it has a much wider uh, x let me show you if you go with the normal size it's gonna be something like this which is why I added this and then we have a normal map uh, the power of the normal map and how smooth is the surface and how metallic this is in the high definition render pipeline uh, and I'm gonna do this tutorial in the um, uh, lightweight render pipeline which is the same it has the same abilities so let's jump into it so we have this object. I made this object using Blender. Uh, it's just a, a basic um, shape, which uh, Im more importantly you need to have the the whole mesh taking the whole texture, um, like from from the side to the side. Why do we need this? we need it so we can apply a seamless texture and then we can increase the tiling and you won't see any cut uh, so I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on this um, what else is oh, sorry is I made this texture using GIMP uh, using just some simple brushes and then I made it seamless so if if you repeat it again and again um, you won't feel any cut, it, it will be continuous. So let's start by creating a new uh, graph shader. Let's call it waves. Let's open that. In the new uh, version of Unity, I don't know when exactly, but they added this position which is what I'm using for, for deforming the mesh. 
So let's start by adding the texture. Um, Texture. Uh, uh, input. Um, sample. And then we just connect the color to the albedo. Uh, we can uh, put this as a default uh, waves so we can see what's happening. Let's save that. And let's uh, let's create a material from this material waves and apply it to this one. So you can see there is no cut whatsoever. Uh, we can reduce the slide. Okay, so it doesn't have anything right now. So let's add more things. We will need tiling and offset. So I'm going to create a vector for tiling offset. And drop it here. I'm going to create also an odd for tiling and offset. And then um, this has four values. I need to split them. To, to have it two in here and two in here. So there is a split node and then we need to construct a vector two from each two. Uh, this is x, y, z, w. So we will connect these to the tiling and another vector two These are the offset. So uh, this is gone. So it's giving zero in the tiling. So we need to keep it. Uh, the, the default is one and one for the x and y. And just connect this to this, right? Um, so nothing really fancy. We just have these now. You can increase. You can now see the cut. So you need to have a an integer value here, so it's two, three, four, right? And this one can be increased as much as you want. So let's continue. Now let's add the uh, the moving downwards, which is gonna be using the time node. And what we will do is um, the tiling is not important from from this node. So we are going to use the time to be the y tiling. So it, it's going to keep on moving down, down, down. Um, you can see now it's moving. Now we want a uh, speed. We want to control the speed, basically. So we're going to create a vector one. And we're going to say texture speed. And we can make it a slider if you want you can make it a slider if you don't want you can keep it like this um, and what I'm gonna do is multi multiply this by the time before giving it to the y let's give it a default value of 0.5 and save and check it out here. So now you have this texture speed. You can increase it or decrease it or even in reverse. Okay. Let's create the, the simple things. Um, one vector, vector one to to control the smoothness, and another one for the metallic, metal, metallicness. Yes. And it's going to be a slider between 0 and 1. Connect it here. Another one for metallic. And connect it 
it here. Once my slider. And okay. So now let's let's jump into the the cutout the, uh, on the, the, the bottom of the the object. So what we need to do is to have a noise te texture uh, connected to this alpha clip threshold, and then um, and then we will start to see these uh, cutouts. So let's create a noise a gradient noise, and let's just try to connect it. Uh, you will see we have something here. Uh, let's um, okay. Um, if you go with 0.5, you will see it all over the the object. So uh, the first thing that we need to do is another um, vector one for the alpha threshold. So we can control it outside. Call it alpha and give it V a slider and the default value make it 0.5. Okay, and what we need to do is to have this applied only to the down part, right? So what we are going to do is I'm going to multiply this texture by a gradient. <coughs> I'm going to multiply this texture by a gradient, black to white. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna um, I'm gonna filter this texture, this noise texture, so that it's black from the top, and it has the noise te texture from the bottom. How do we do this? Add a gradient. We need the sample gradient, and uh, we're gonna make it half black and half white. And also we need uh, a rotate node, and we're gonna do degrees. Uh, you can see if you if you connect it to the time, it's like this. I want it, uh, I want it like this. So we're gonna rotate it 90 degrees. Okay, and I'm gonna use a lerp node. go between uh, black from the top and then so this is going to be zero so it, it will give me black and then at the bottom we will have the noise so I'm going to connect this to the T and I think this is happening yeah because all of these need to be zero Okay, so this is the opposite of what we want, so we are going to put this here. Okay, that's it. We, we can, um, can modify this, of course, to be like this. We'll, we'll this. But then we, we are going to use something else for that. Uh, I think, let's, let's check it out. Uh, save, and then... Okay, then if we play with the alpha, alright, we need to add the property for uh, making the, the noise uh, smaller. So we are going to create a vector one and we're going to say cut out uh, scale or size. And we're going to put it here, and it's going to be connected to the scale of the noise. Let's do a default of uh, 5. Okay, oops, 5 is too much. Well, this is kind of good. Now let's add the, the moving for the, the cutout as well. So it's going to be... Um, same setup. Um, 
but I need one of these. And then this is going to connect to the offset. And this is going to connect to the UV of the noise. Um, and then the multiplier, we are going to put another one, which is cut out speed. Go with the default of uh, one. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, we need to construct a vector two and connect it to the Y only. Okay. This is very fast. one yeah looking fine so that's gonna do it for this part of the tutorial um, what is left is to have a more uh, more control over where does the alpha start and where does it finish and also now you can see it's cutting out in the end it's not uh, reducing the, the size of each drop. Uh, so we're gonna fix that and we are gonna add the distortion for the whole mesh. Uh, and also you can see there is a cut here in the uh, in the texture because it's not seamless the, the noise texture. So we are gonna fix that as well in the next part. Thank you for watching and remember to click the subscribe and like button if you like this and you want to see more.